Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Tuesday, June 30th. It is the week of the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. We begin, O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in trouble. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus invites you, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. For our devotions this week, we are considering the five songs traditionally used in the church's worship. Um, yesterday, we considered the Kyrie Eleison, Lord Have Mercy. Um, this morning, it is the Gloria um, in Excelsis. How much comfort there is found for us in this hymn of praise. It's been used in the church's worship, somewhat dated back as far as the 5th century, but, but we've heard these words even further back than that. Glory to God in the highest, and peace um, to men on whom his favor rests, peace to his people on earth. This is the angel song. Think about those marvelous creatures, uh, those marvelous created beings of God, the holy angels, that they show up at Christmas and they sing glory to God in the highest, not that Jesus Christ came to be the angel's savior, but to be the savior of mankind, that Jesus Christ would leave his throne room in heaven to rescue you and me. The angels cannot but help um, contain their song of praise, glory to God in the highest. There is so much for us in this hymn. Glory to God in the highest, in the highest. He is above. Um, he is so far above. It is only by his incarnation, by the fact that God became man for us and for our salvation, that we know him, that we can know him at all. And through that babe, not how you would expect peace to come. Born in a manger, peace on earth. The middle part of the hymn is, is chock full of rich theological treasures. It is John the Baptist's language. Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ, seated at the right hand of God, ruling over all things. We have every reason with the angels to sing glory to God in the highest and peace on earth, peace to his people on earth. We're tracking in the service when this song comes. We come into God's presence and we confess that we're sinful and that our actions have proved it again this week. We cry out to him after hearing the pastor's word of forgiveness as from God himself, the word of absolution. Your sins are forgiven. This is how it works. We cry out mercy. He cry out Jesus. We cry to him, Lord, have mercy, not just on us, but throughout the world, throughout the holy Christian church. And then the song of praise. What does a forgiven child do? He does none other than praise God. And what is the highest praise you can give to God? It is telling what he has done. And the Gloria in Excelsis does just that. We proclaim to others, we proclaim to ourselves in song what he has done for us and for our salvation. Glory to God in the highest. And peace on earth, the sum of Christian theology, that our attention draws away from ourselves to the Christ who came for us, the testament of the Father's love for the world, for you, for me. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you, be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin, nor run into any kind of danger. In all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Our closing hymn today is that song of the angels, the church's song of praise, the Gloria in Excelsis. <laughs> 